In this video, we discuss comparison between individual drive and group drives. So, in the last video, we already discussed the basic about individual drives and group drives. So, here you see on the left side, we mentioned the point of individual drive. Here you see this is the diagram of individual drive. And right side, we mentioned the point of group drives. So, in the last video, what we discussed in an individual drive, Every machine have a separate electric motor. In a group drive, number of machine is run by using one heavy motor. Okay, so these are the basic basic of the individual drives and group drives. Now we understand the comparisons. So individual drive is suitable for small size workshop or where machine may be moved frequently and machines are scattered over a larger area means here the three different conditions are mentioned first condition the individual drive is used for a small size workshop so in a small size workshop the less number of machines are there means it is suitable for workshop where the less machines are there second conditions where in a workshop where the machines are more frequently from the one place to another place at that time individual drive is suitable and third conditions the machine are scattered over a larger area means in a larger area very less machines are there at that time the individual drive is used for a group drive it is suitable for medium and large size workshop where machine are not scattered over a larger area so in a medium and large size workshop the number of machines are more and machines are not scattered over a larger area at that time the group drive is used Second point, speed of machine can control separately. Why speed are controlled separately? Because for every machine, the separate electric motor are there. So we can easily control the speed of machine easily. In a group drive, a set of con pulley give wide range of speed. Means for a various machines, we need to use the con pulley. So in a con pulley, that is a number of step pulley are there. So by using that we can achieve the various speed of the machine. Third point, individual drive does not affect other machine when failure of any one motor. So we know that in an individual drive every machine has a separate motor. So one motor is damaged or not working then they are not affected by any other machines. But in a group drive what happens? Only one electric motor are used and if Failure of this motor stop the entire group of the machine. Means one motor is failed, then all the machines are working is stopped. Another point: less power is wasted if less machine is working. So in an individual drive, every machine have a separate electric motor. Suppose we have a ten machines and we want to run only two machines. So eight motor are stopped. Means the less power is wasted. In a group drive, the 10, um, 10 machine is worked by using the electric motor and only 2 machines are working. So at that time more power is wasted. So if more machines are work, at that time the less power is wasted in a group drive. And the last point about the individual drive, high initial capital investment. Why high initial capital investment? Because the every machine have a separate motors. For a separate motor they have the cost is increased, so high initial cost are there. In a group drive, less initial capital investment because only we need to purchase one electric motors. Okay, but it have a larger capacity. But cost is comparatively reduced to buying the 10 electric motors and buying the one motors with the heavy capacity. The cost is less. So thank you for watching this video. If you learn something, then like the video and don't forget to subscribe my channels. For watching the more video related to BME or EME subject, various link is provided in descriptions as well as in car. For other subject, I request to visit the playlist and also share the channel with your friends.